Hi, I'm Brian Erlocker. I'm a professor of political science at the University of North Dakota. And for the last couple of years, I've been working on this series on intelligence analysis. And this video is intended as sort of the big picture orientation to this series and the couple dozen videos that I've, I've currently um, put into this catalog. I got a question a little while back about what's the best way to kind of work through those videos. And I sort of intuitively had always said, well, the, the best way to work through it is just to go in the order that I put them in because I put them in an order that I think makes sense. Um, but I, I should probably highlight what that order looks like. So the first part of um, the series will talk about um, kind of background stuff, the history of the US intelligence community, some definitions, a little bit about cognitive bias and why we need structured analytic techniques. Then it moves on to some typologies of critical thinking, thinking about different kinds of problems, whether we're doing prediction or analysis and the kind of techniques that might be appropriate for different kinds of questions. And that kind of sets the foundation. And then from there, it kind of um, covers different techniques that might be useful um, for different kinds of problems. But again, so sort of the idea is that you're fitting all that back into that original typology that was kind of introduced somewhere in the middle. Um, so that's kind of what this series is, is trying to do. Um, I should also flag one more thing about what this series is trying to do. There's a lot of um, trainings out there on intelligence analysis um, that come from the perspective of specific tools, almost on the collection side. Um, how do you, you know, use different search engines to get the kind of results that you want? Um, that's not what this is about. Um, for one thing, I'm not coming from a practitioner side, I'm coming from more of the academic side. So a lot of what I bring to the table uh, is coming from the scholarly research on intelligence studies that's kind of looking at what the intelligence community is doing, trying to apply some of those tools of social science to figure out to, like, is this actually effective? To try to bring in some of those tools of social science to think about causality and, and how the world works and how we know that the world works a particular way. So I'm bringing that perspective to the table. Um, I think that fits more in line with what we might call tradecraft standards. Standards, um, trying to think about what constitutes good analysis, um, good ways of working with information, um, what are things to avoid, <laughs> uh, bad ways of working with information, um, and then trying to kind of you know do better with the information that is coming into us from those various different collection techniques that people have. Uh, then I should also flag that um, when I started this, I just sort of did this for my own purposes. I, I teach a class on U.S. foreign policy, and we do a, a section on structured analytic techniques, and I teach the analysis competing hypotheses technique in that class. Um, but over the years, I've gotten a lot of really positive feedback from this video series, including a number of people who requested uh, sort of professional training. And my first reaction was, well, that's not really what I do. I'm an academic. I do sort of classroom training. Um, but after the third or fourth request, I thought, well, maybe that's something I could do or I should do or there could be a need for. Uh, and so this summer I spent some time and actually put together um, what I think is a workable catalog of different trainings. And so I've got my website, erlockerconsulting.com. I'll throw a link down in the description if people are really curious, um, in which I sort of thought through some different modules that I think I could very easily um, uh, provide to folks and then how those could be packaged into, you know, short trainings over Zoom over, you know, an hour to something longer, five, six, eight hours, um, maybe even over the course of a couple of days if people were really really interested in, in doing some in-depth training on some of these techniques. Um, and so if folks are curious, they can take a look at that. If you're looking to hire somebody who does um, this kind of training, I'll put that on your radar. Uh, if you're not, it might still be worth looking at to kind of get a sense of, of different themes and topics that you might want to explore in a little bit more depth. Uh, the last thing I'll say at this point is I should probably ask people to like and subscribe because I never ask them to do that. I kind of find, of anno uh, find it kind of annoying, but if you made it this far and you've got, you know, 30 videos lined up ahead of you that hopefully are providing good content, um, I'll make my pitch now. Like and subscribe. So, thank you.